we just want to remind you that there's still time to register to vote. We've partnered with the nonpartisan organization Headcount and former First Lady Michelle Obama's nonpartisan voter organization, When We All Vote, to get as many people registered to vote before Election Day. It's so easy. You can do it right now on your phone. Just text the word R-E-A-L, real. Real, that's R E A L two four zero six four nine. Again, that's R E A L to four zero six four nine to register to vote with headcount or to get election alerts to help you stay informed if you're already registered to vote. Yeah, they'll text you back with a link where you can fill in all your info and sign up so that you're ready for the midterm elections in November. And remember, you must re-register to vote anytime you have a change of address and if you've moved locally. So make sure to update your voter registration. Now, deadlines vary from state to state, so be sure to visit thereal.com to find out when yours is. And remember, the future is voting, and we all have to do our part mm -hmm. to make sure our voices are heard. We want to hear your voice. We'll see you at the polls November 6th. That's Tomorrow, right. Tuesday, November 6th is election day. Is everyone going to vote tomorrow? Yes. Yes. Don't just say it. Don't just applaud. Okay. Well, someone trying to do her part is the woman I paid tribute to last week on Halloween, Miss Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> Oprah has been in Georgia campaigning for Stacey Abrams, who is running for governor. And if elected, Miss Abrams will be the first ever female black governor. Now, y'all, cool. Oprah was literally uh, canvassing door to door. Imagine Oprah showing up at your door. Can't Oprah even. also made an <laughs> Look at her. I love Look it. At it. She no, just, I would people die. Just, was, and she also made an impassioned speech to a Georgia crowd about the importance of voter turnout tomorrow. Check it out. And for anybody here who has an ancestor who didn't have the right to vote, and you are choosing not to vote wherever you are in this state, in this country, you are dishonoring your family. <laughs> Preach. Straight up. She's awful. Dying. That is the truth. For our right yes. to vote. vote. People on the lines right now are dying yes. for our right to vote. I want to hear what some of you had to say about why voting is important to you. And at oh snap, it Zalamar says it's important because it's a chance for everyone to use their voices and make a change. Yes. I love what this person said. At Pinch Glow. It's important because without your vote, this country will never grow. It'll continue to go backwards. A lot of people died so you could, say, so you could have a say. So stop letting other folks keep you in the past. Yes, wow. Right. And you know, Oprah didn't have to... She got money. Yeah. You know what I mean? She well taken care of. She didn't have it to lend shows, her voice. You it shows know? how impassioned she is about it. And even just looking at this table here, you guys, it wasn't until 1920 that we reserved the right to vote. Yeah. So if you women out there aren't making that change, you're defeating the purpose of all those people that fought before us, yes. you know? And I really, really want to give a special message to all my millennials out there, all my little brothers and sisters. You guys have no idea how much impact you have to change our culture. And I know, like yesterday, I went out to breakfast with some of my younger cousins and I asked them if they are all going to vote and they were like, eh, honestly, I'm oh. really into politics. Mm. And this is just being real. I want them to be mm. real, you know? Mm. Here's the thing. If you two think that you're not into politics, you have to understand that they run your life. Yes. At this time right now live, you probably just got up in your apartment, right? You probably brushed your teeth. You probably grabbed your cell phone, which you bought with your paycheck. You probably got in your car, maybe got some gas, probably headed to your job, ho hollered at your home slice, Bob, right? Mm. In that time right there, everything you just did was influenced by politics. Yes. The apartment that you pay for, the water, running water that you pay for, your paycheck that you get, your gas prices, and also probably the coworker that might be getting paid more than you for doing the yeah. same no, job. No. So I'm just no, saying, no. you have the power to change that. If you're saying you're okay with all of that and what's going on today, then seriously don't sleep on voting. Seriously. Yeah.